Hi, Amy Storr here. I'm the instructional coach at Keenan Elementary School. I'm also the science coach for all of the elementary campuses in our district. I was asked to create a real quick refresher on STEM scopes and to share a friendly reminder for you um, and then to also remind you that I'm here if you need me. So if you need any help with getting organized with STEM scopes, with working through some lessons, or you may want me to come demo a lesson. I would love to come be in your classroom. So let's get started. All right, so here's my friendly reminder, and then we'll move on. Please remember that your principal and your coach can log into STEM scopes at any time and check to see the amount of times that you have logged in to STEM scopes. Uh, I know that some teams have maybe a team leader or a science lead, and they are always the ones that log in to print things or to find the activities, but every teacher should be logging in to utilize the tools that STEM Scopes provides. So please make sure that you are using this program. It is the district adopted science program. If it's an unfamiliar program to you, remember, just reach out to me and I'm here to help you. All right, so let's get started. All right, so my dashboard will look a little different from yours, but I'm going to get to the scope so it looks a little bit more familiar to you. So when you log into STEM scopes and the website's up here, it's a specific website, you'll log in, uh, you'll choose the school you're at, and then you're, you, you will use your password. I believe usernames are your email and your password, I believe, is science. Um, but if that doesn't work, just reach out and we can get you, get you some help. All right, so I'm going to choose, let's say that I'm a third grade teacher, and here's all my scopes listed here. So this is your lesson plan. These are your lesson plans for your scopes. Uh, your Mac documents follows STEM scopes. So classifying matter should be a scope that you are finished with. Sorry, let me turn that off. Uh, and then changes from heat, possibly you're on that now, or maybe on to mixtures. So let's say that I'm on changes from heat. So when your scope is opened, this is your lesson sequence for this particular scope. You've got your five E's here, and you have your I and your A. Now this does not mean that you do engage on day one, explore on day two, explain on day three. Some of your E's are going to cover more than just one or possibly two days. It depends on the type of lesson that you are delivering to your students. Now, if you've noticed, explain is the third E. Typically, or in years past, even when I was in school, my first few years of teaching, we always tended to, to front load with the vocabulary and the explanation. That doesn't come until explain. What you want to do first is you want to engage the students and get them ready for the scope and get them excited for the scope. So engage is going to give you your teacher instructions, and it gives you some really fun starters. The starters are, it's a great way to, um, to change up your warm-ups during the day or your morning work is to start with one of these starters. Another great way to get your kiddos engaged in the scope. Your teacher instructions, very detailed. It tells you all the materials that you're going to need to get through this scope. And if you have your STEM scopes buckets, these materials are in those buckets. And if you're missing anything or you need to reorder some stuff, just reach out to your instructional coach um, or Julie and they can get that for you. And then it gives you all of your instructions for the procedure and facilitation. Comes with some great slideshows, you can print it. If anything needs to be printed, it's usually down at the bottom or there's a little section over here that uh, allows you to print in either Google, in a Google Doc, or download as a PDF. If for some reason it's the only option it's giving you is a Google Doc, you need to check, uh, try a different browser, try Firefox. All right, Explore, what I like about Explore is that it typically gives you a setup video. So it walks you through the procedure and facilitation via video, which is nice. So you, you and your team, which is how we did it when I taught at MRE, when we first got STEM scopes, is we planned our science scopes together. We got our kits and buckets ready together, and we sometimes watch the video together. So I do encourage you uh, working with your team for that. But the setup video is a video that shows you exactly as a teacher what you need to get ready for this scope. 
3.5c, Changes with Heat. In this Explore activity, students will observe and record how water can change states from solid to liquid and how this change can be systematically observed and tracked. So a nice video to walk you through the procedure for the Explore portion of this scope. There's the student materials, which is where you will sometimes see if there's anything that needs to be printed. The links are to the right. Um, or every kid should have a student journal um, that they can do this in. And there's also the online option as well. But this is a journal sheet that should be um, in their journal that you got when books were passed out. Then when you get to the explain, that's when the, the vocabulary comes into play. It doesn't come at the front. It comes pretty much towards the middle of your scope and I highly suggest printing printing these vocabulary cards they're great cards um, and they're great to have up hanging in your room very rich vocabulary with a real-world picture which is important you can also print these for your kiddos when you go and you choose the print option you can select if you want to have three to a page or six to a page and it prints them smaller for the kiddos if you're looking for them to have those flashcards. Let me get back here. There's a download you can print. Uh, there's the progress monitoring assessment, a good spot check for your kiddos. Now, once you get to the explain, elaborate, evaluate, there's a lot of teacher choice in these particular sections where you as a teacher can choose what pieces that you want to include and use in that portion of the scope. So just choose what you think is best for your students. STEM Scopedia is pretty awesome. The videos are always good. Science Rock is a music video. Typically, it kind of reminds me of vocabulary. Elaborate. You can see here, Elaborate's got quite a few. You do not have to go through all of these. This is another teacher choice um, E. So go through here and see what, what you have here that would be something you want to do with your students to take that next step. The next step inquiry reminds me a lot of Genius Hour. It gives the kids some voice and choice and where they want to go from here. There's your reading components, math. There's a list of books that relate to this topic. There's your engineering connections, your STEM, and then there's a review game and a virtual investigation, which the kids do love. Evaluate is where you can give your kiddos the post-assessment. They have an open-ended response assessment, the concept builder. There's a writing piece that's really good. Then you've got your intervention and acceleration. Intervention is a newer piece. So if your kiddos, well, I say newer, it's newer to me. If your kiddos did not do so well on your post-assessment, this is where you would come in and you would do some intervention with these particular activities. And acceleration has some things that you could do to accelerate your kiddos that may be uh, comped out of this particular scope, which you could figure that out with the pre-assessment right here. Um, so back to acceleration, there's the science applied, there's the art, so your art teachers could get involved with these scopes, and then there's your PBL experiences, which are all very fun. So here's what I was saying earlier. Your document should be listed here. This is a Google Doc and it's not going to let you do much with it because we don't have Google, but there should be a PDF download somewhere on your page. And I think that's a quick overview of the bits and pieces of STEM scopes, but if you need some more in-depth practice, please reach out to me. I would love to come visit. You know that. I love my MRE family and I would love to come by and, and spread the STEM scopes love. Uh, reminder once again that your, your principal and instructional coach can view how many times you have clicked and logged in to, skip to STEM scopes. And, um, and just, I encourage you, highly encourage you to plan. Plan with your team, lean on each other when you're building these scopes. And if you need me, reach out. It was nice visiting with y'all. Bye.